Friday morning movie reviews, and I'm doing this again. I'm we Nathan do that CK. Okay. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm trying to be excited. Woo. I'm Louis Angel, and um, Star Trek Star Beyond. Star Trek Beyond. I really like 2009, the 2009 Star Trek. Star Trek in Darkness is my Into favorite. Darkness. Yes, it's, it is. It's, I people hate that movie. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Through the lights. Yeah, well, we're having technical difficulties. Um, will you fix it? I took. I, I can't see shit. My, I don't even have my glasses on. <laughs> hey, yes. <laughs> that was you see, if we were a better YouTube channel, I would cut all of that out. But I don't know how. So here we are. Um, JJ Abrams. <laughs> J.J. Abrams left the franchise, go to another movie, you know, good for him. Star um, Wars. It's a much better movie <laughs> than this one. And people are really liking Star Trek Beyond, and honestly, I don't get it. I didn't like <laughs> this movie. Um, Justin Lin directs it, and it you feel J.J. missing, yeah, because it yeah. never feels as epic to me. Yeah. And it right. just, the script didn't work for me. Like, okay. the whole, the first two movies... We're kind of about the relationship between uh, Kirk and Spock. Spock, right? And I loved that relationship. And you had Uhura in there, and she was great. And in this movie, like that, those were my favorite parts of those movies. Yeah. The, that friendship, and they're not even really. You get like two scenes with them in this movie, right? Not they're like, they're a little um, separated. And it's about the. It's a couple years in their five year mission in space. And um, basically, the crew receives a distress call. They go answer it. They go to a planet. Things are not as they seem. And um, they wind up on this planet where Idris Elba. They find many other people who have wound over there past <clears throat> like years and many other years. A lot of years. And uh, Idris Elba plays Crawl, the villain. And I didn't care for him at all. I couldn't even see Idris Elba. It's performance. It's just. <laughs> He's under so much makeup. Like, it's Idris Elba. He's a great actor. Let him act. Hey, right, yeah. Let him... Does he have to wear all that heavy makeup? And Because it, it didn't help. And then... I didn't really, You didn't really get his reasons for being a villain. Until, like, the last 15 until, minutes of the movie. Uh, right. And by last that point, I'm already so unhappy with him as the villain. <laughs> that, like, I don't care now. <laughs> And you go from Ben to Cumberbatch yeah, is great. A, Idris is great. I'm like, oh, they're, the, yeah, they're the picking from the BBC. Yeah, the backstory is a little missing, but I don't know it's, if that was really necessary, a backstory. I mean, it didn't really matter. I mean, did you want to see a whole backstory about this villain? Khan guy? got a backstory. Well, yeah, because he's, he's Khan. <laughs> yeah, well, give Crawl a backstory. <laughs> give him one, dude. Um, Idris is great. He can handle it. But... I don't know, the movie never felt epic to me. It never felt huge. And I know a lot of people are saying this felt like an original Star Trek, you know, episode. Uh -huh. But that's not what the tone of these movies have been. It's It was right. so jarring for me that I didn't enjoy this movie the yeah, way I wanted it yeah, to. Yeah, right. They they <clears throat> separated themselves from the TV show. Yeah, the TV show is really fun and jolly, which this movie definitely is. And, and this, the movie has fun. Right, it has its fun. It has a lot of... Uh, uh, comedy that you'll laugh and make you enjoy it because there's a scene between you know uh, bones bones and and uh and spock which i know i said i missed the kirk and spock relationship but i did enjoy i, I mean it, it is there a little bit and then there's bones and but spock. i did enjoy bones and spock because they were always at each other <laughs> and then uh scotty simon Pegg, he's in the he movie quite script. Quite a lot. Well, he did write it. Isn't that correct? I would yeah, do the same he, thing. He's in it a lot. Um, Sophia Butella, who was in Kingsman, Girl with No Legs, she's in this movie. I don't feel like her character really... She just didn't do anything for me. No. Um, but yeah, for, honestly, for me, it's the writing. It's the, the feel of the movie. It just is a disappointment for me because I really did like those other two Star Trek movies so, quite a bit. Yeah, same. I mean, coming off of Into Darkness, that this movie was uh, was kind of pushing it to see if it could be better. And I, I don't think it reached it. I don't think it did either. I think Justin Lin works fine in Fast and Furious, but Star Trek, I, I didn't like the movie. And I'm sorry, uh, 2.7 <laughs> out of 5 for me. 2.7? I'm going to say... Yeah. 
I'm gonna say three. Three. First time I really liked it, and the second time <clears throat> I saw it with it you, dragged, it, it it did, and and I, I told my mom that, and my mom is a big Star Trek fan, and she was like, "What? No, it was amazing." <laughs> Sorry, I, that's my that's mom. my mom. <laughs> CK is mom. <laughs> my bad. Um, <laughs> Um, but uh, if you want to go see it, definitely go see it. Um, I think you'll you'll like it if you have been a Star Trek fan for a long time. Uh, it it has a few um, uh, things that you can relate to uh, as far as ships go and stuff. A little bit of spoilers. No, after the well, you already rated it, right? Yeah. Okay, well, well, that's our review. We'll do spoilers in 10 seconds. Okay. Bye. See you guys. You're still here. Okay, spoilers. <laughs> All right. Um, well, they, they find the, the first ship supposedly on this planet. Oh, Franklin. Yeah, the Franklin. I guess that was like the first Enterprise, supposedly. And everything everything works. Oh yeah, <laughs> everything works. It's not broken or. Oh, anything. I mean, it only took Scotty an hour to fix it. <laughs> uh, Anton Yelchin, we forgot to talk about him. Oh yeah, he, dude, he check dead. off. I I was watching Wait, Green Room did, today. Did we stay long enough to see if they had a little like in memory of? I don't think. I they thought did that. at the end of the movie it was gonna be for Anton or something, but it wasn't. Did they didn't say that shit. No, it didn't. It just went to Justin Lin. Same with Leonard Nimoy, right? Old Spock? Yeah, right? They, they should have done something a little more for him. Yeah, Although yeah. I liked that storyline. Like, how do you deal I, with right now? I, I like that. But at the same, you know, and it's fascinating because that's a guy who doesn't really feel. I mean, he feels a lot, but he doesn't emote. Right. But because he doesn't emote and he didn't ha really have anyone to talk to about it, it anyone close, like, mm -hmm. him and Bones are not close. Right. I, I mean, I guess they were trying to make new relationships out. with the rest of the crew, which, I mean, works, but you still want to see those relationships that are there. The ones that we grew to love in the first ones. We wanted yeah. To. Exactly. Yeah, and I think he definitely took his own take, Justin Lin, his own take on the on this movie. Um, and did he make it a full, solid trilogy? I no. I don't think it, it definitely made its own movie. You know, so he, Set it aside. It's like Iron Man 3. Yeah. Uh, Iron Man 3 feels different right. than the first two. Right. Um, uh, you do see the the full crew, the original crew. I kind of like that, but at the same time, that took me completely out of the movie. Yeah, I mean... When you saw that picture? So what, is, what does that mean? Does that mean that that's themselves in the yeah. future? Yeah, or that's like... always been the case. If you remember the first Star Trek when Spock shows up and it's Leonard Nimoy's right, Spock, right? That's who. That's he's the future, and they so they, they've always well, they created an the, alternate timeline. The... Well, they created like an alternate timeline. That's interesting. But yeah. it's still like that's why they call him Spock Prime. But it's still <laughs> so. Um, <laughs> he shows Chris Pine the future. That's what you're gonna be, dude. <laughs> yeah. mm. Um, uh, but yeah, it definitely does drag, and this review is dragging right now. So yeah, I'm gonna I cut it here. Go to the commentary and watch our other reviews. Later, guys. Oh my god, it's Jason oh, Bourne. Oh, 